And here to help us avoid the dangers of extreme summer heat is medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning. Good Great morning, to see Rebecca. You. you too. So how does this extreme heat impact the body? Well, first of all, a little science review here. What happens when it's really, really hot outside is that our body temperature, which normally hovers at a core temperature around 98.6 degrees, really wants to balance out with our surroundings so we can actually absorb heat from the surroundings. The second thing that happens is our best cooling system, which is perspiration, becomes significantly impaired. The sweat that forms on the outer surface of our body cannot evaporate. That's when you can really get behind the eight ball and get into some real trouble. Everyone needs to know the signs of heat exhaustion because this is a true medical emergency. So this is really when someone's core temperature is above 103 degrees. You can see someone with dry, hot, or red skin. They lose the ability to perspire and sweat. They can have a rapid, thready pulse, nausea, confusion, ultimately suffer a loss of consciousness, you want to call 911, get them to a hospital. Who's most vulnerable here? We always hear this, the very old, the very young. We're talking people with newborns should keep those babies inside. Elderly people, people with any chronic medical condition should really stay inside. How about avoiding it? Because that's what everyone is after here. Key tips here, it, this bears repeating over and over again. You want to go to a cool environment. So these are cooling centers. Stay inside air conditioning. Obviously being indoors is best. You want to hydrate as much as possible. Water is best unless you are strenuously exercising outside for more than an hour. You really need to take in about a liter of fluid an hour in those situations. And then if you are going to exercise, you really want to do that in the beginning of the day mm. or at the end of the day when the temperatures are cooler or bring it indoors and exercise inside. But this is really, really significant health risk really to most people. And get ultra hydrated before Absolutely. you do Absolutely, your urine should be clear. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, on that note, we'll end it. Thank exactly. you.